Oh, we just going straight into Marauder Town over here. Okay, let's take out this drone. Kill the Colossus. Try to kill the Colossus. I'm taking hit. Uh, where, where did they come? Oh, they come from over there. Kill the Colossus, please. Hit that. Get Parvati in there. Or actually, Ellie. Hit the wrong button. I meant to get Parvati in there, but we'll get Parvati out. Over there. Hammer down. Crush the Marauders. Burn, you nerds. Come on. Why don't, uh, why don't you die? There we go. And then there's like a bunch of dudes over there. Has the right gun. I do. Where's this guy going? Oh, crap. This guy's like constantly behind cover. Here, can we hit a couple headshots there? Ah, much better. We did. We're fine. Everybody's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, this, I don't think this is the facility I'm looking for. In fact, I think this is down. Yeah, that's right. It's down below the bridge. Okay. Oh no, I'm overburdened again. Crap. <laughs> All right. That's fine. We'll break this down. I'm just gonna, just gonna go through these, clear them all out. Get rid of every single one I don't need. I'm a little disappointed by the way. Ooh, what's this? Employee benefits, anti-Cleo. This is a science weapon that I picked up that I totally didn't pay any attention to when I picked it up. This experimental device was created to keep employees on their feet, regardless of how much pain or exhaustion they may be experiencing. As all good workers know, unconsciousness is just another word for wage theft. Goodness. This, you know what? I feel like to some degree, I can relate to that. <laughs> I can, I can relate to that. I think many of us can. I got a bunch of science weapons. Cool. All right, let's look at that armor that we got from that previous quest. It was like chrono something. Chrono adaptive outfit, 35 armor. Yeah, not great. I also need to repair all my armor. So that one's 108. Prisoner cap, that's funny. We got a bunch of um, helmets and whatnot from those like zombie people. But overall, I'm feeling pretty confident in our loot so far. However, as I was gonna say, I'm kind of disappointed by the lack of like super good weapons we've gotten thus far. Wow, there was a lift right here this entire time. Can this go up? Said it, said it yes. I'm, I'm sure it can. Okay, I'm just gonna have to keep that in mind. I have to come. If I have to come back down here, rather. Yeah, I was expecting like a, I don't know, like a legendary pistol or something that was going to be super, super duper good. And like, don't get me wrong. The pistol that we have is rather good. 805 damage. Oof, ooh wee. But like, I don't know. I was, I just, I don't know. I was expecting something cooler. And I'm a little disappointed that I haven't gotten something at this point. Because it makes me want. I'm like, I really want, oop, wrong weapon. I really want a better weapon. Not that my weapon is bad. I think by all means, this weapon is quite good. The pistol that is. All right, let's tactical time dilation. Let's heal up the team. Let's get some powers going in there. Shoot that monkey in the butt. Let Parfati get to safety by jumping her to the closest one, of course. Am I like in poison or something? Gosh, I hate these monkeys. Shoot him in the face. I wish this gun had a much larger magazine though. All right, my team is dead, but it doesn't matter now that I've taken care of all the big guys. Did Parfani just get back up? I think she did. She came up and like jabbed that guy in the butt, which worked out quite well for us. Yeah, there's a little poison cloud, or not clouds, but pools. Not the greatest. That's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, I think now that we've cleared that out, we should have a clear shot. Are we going the right way? Oh, that's right, it switched missions on us. No, I want this one. Ah, that's why I was getting confused by that marker. No, I just want to go into here. I, I think that we're at the point where, I don't know, this might be the second to last place because I got to get to the chem lab, but I can't get to the chem lab until after I've done this area. 
which is uh wait it says fast travel location discovered chem lab upper exterior is, the, is that technically the chem lab lower exterior mm. right okay so this is going to be the last place for this area but yeah that place is barred it won't let us in can i quick travel down there i mean i'm glad i, I came up here and looked that one's also sealed Interesting. How the heck am I supposed to get through? All right. Well, you know, there's a vending machine here. We may as well do this. Hold Z to sell junk. Let's get rid of all that. Um, in fact, actually, I should probably go back into my inventory and just add stuff to junk. Yeah, it's probably going to be all of this, honestly. Just going to get rid of it all. Minus the top hat. Cause like, I don't know why I like carrying that around with me. I just do. Right. Boop. And then sell junk. We're at 177. We have a, like a bunch of mods and stuff that are really taking up our thing. Why can't I get into... Hmm. Find the entrance to Chem Lab on Gorgon. Use Jasper's phonograph to unlock the door. Do I have to do the top one? Let's find out. Oh, actually, I think I just realized what it is. I think there's like a thing. Yeah, that's what it is. You think the voice lock's hard to make? Kind of wonder if I should put one in the bathroom to keep Sam from smashing up the toilet. <laughs> well, that's funny. This facility is currently experiencing a heightened security event. Accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase. Please speak the passphrase. Uh, play Dr. Lowe's audio recording. We attest to the zest with our hands on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Passphrase accepted. Access granted. <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Jasper Lowe. Cool. Thank you. All right, so that opened up. So I'm going to go back and select the electric fling because, again, I really want to know where that phonograph is. And having that just auto locked in is going to help. So this is where Spacer's Choice is called. Lab coats made their wonder drug. Yep. Indeed. Looks like a mess. Definitely looks like a mess. But definitely doesn't look like zombies yet. And that was kind of what was going on in the other one. So it's a step up. You know what I mean? Urgent notifications. Uh, the urgent notification brought to you by the Spacer Choice Automated su uh, Subversive Behavior Notification System. Please be informed that one or more of the following high priority conditions are likely to be active in your office or workplace. One, escaped primals. Two, oh crap, I gotta deal with the stupid monkeys. Two, unlawful discussion of subversive cultural material. And three, extended and unauthorized breaks. Please notify your superior immediately if you are the designated supervisor of this workplace. This message constitutes your official notification. This is an automated response. Please do not respond directly to this message. Okay. <clears throat> so to Dr. Lowe. Uh, what is this one? What was it about? I didn't see what it was about. Uh, corrective measures, right. All right, Jasper, I've been taking your messages at my terminal like you asked. This one's from management, though. Please take a look at it. I could get in trouble for deleting it. Dr. Lowe, I speak for everyone at the OCI when I express my disappointment in your work ethic. The quality of Compound X harvested and enriched at your laboratory falls well below Spacer's Choice standards. This is my professional opinion that the quality of one's work reflects the quality of one's spirit. Lazy workers deliver lazy work. Round up your researchers. Fire one in ten. I expect you to. Re uh, I expect you and your remaining researchers to deliver the next batch of chemicals to HIA under an accelerated timetable. These measures may seem punitive, even harsh. They are. I'm instilling discipline on your team. One day, I'd like to imagine you'll thank me. Respectfully, Lawrence Goodfellow, Manager, Office of Creative Incubation. The the tone and everything kind of in this writing reminds me of um, the boss in the IT crowd, which if you've never seen is incredible. And I think it's on Netflix, so go watch it. Jasper, 
I know you told me not to bother you when you're working, but I'm running out of options. I understand you're busy, so I've boiled down my list of concerns into simple yes-no questions. Just respond with Y or N. Did you read Goodfellow's letter? Am I on the chopping block? Has security talked to you about some type of corporate spy in our ranks? 3A. Is there a spy? 4. Did you know Padilla's heart gave out after a 72-hour shift? 4A. Are you attending the wake? I've got staff coming to the receptionist's desk looking for uh, answers. What am I supposed to tell them? It's not the best choice. It's the only choice we've got? Are you going to respond? Alright. Respectfully- No. <laughs> Respectfully, Jasper. Freaking Jasper. Chief, I found a key in a locker by the lavatories. The key belongs to Dr. Lowe. Please retrieve the key and return it to him. I'll do it myself, but Dr. Lowe can be pretty paranoid. If I show up at his door with a key in hand, he'll assume I stole it in order to fabricate a reason to check up on him. That's the kind of person we're dealing with. Not a big deal. <laughs> it's not, not something to, not someone who's like a, a threat, just kind of annoying. I see the voice is talking, but I can't hear it. I wonder who the the mysterious figure is, actually. Could be um anybody really. I'm expecting it to be Ambrose. Hold that just on. makes the most sense. I thought this place was supposed to be abandoned. Yeah, oh goodness. This is um Well, you know what? The marauders are dead. But, oh, Oh, but there's a mech. Okay. Well, uh, uh. all right. Here we go, team. Here we go. I'm going to shoot the mech's leg oh. unit. Here we go. There we go. Shooter. I don't know where Ellie came from there, but she shot him. <laughs> I like the uh, ragdolling. Karate, you're fine. Oh, wait, no, you're not fine. You're taking damage from <clears throat> other mechs. Oh, my goodness. So am I. Holy crap. Kind of wish I had a better weapon against these guys. These guys are brutal. All right, let's heal Parvati up. Is this going to work? There. It's, hey, it's finally working. I was wondering why I wasn't shooting before. Now it is. Okay, that's a little bit better. I don't know why it like freaked out there. Right, where, where, where did they go? Hey, yeah. Right? You know what? The laser works. I like the laser <laughs> against these guys. I was doing quite a bit of damage. It's like 500 that I saw popping up. <sighs> Dealing with Automex though. They're about as um about as dangerous as you might imagine. Like they're not super crazy, but you get you get a couple of them on yet, and they can do a lot of damage. Uh, do I have the electric fling? Selected? It looks I so do. homey, like a family lived here. Oh, that goodness turned to such devilish ends. Yep. Who? Go ahead. Going? Take all that. There wasn't anything particularly good, but you know what? I'll take it anyways. Can I get into there? Ooh, I can. Pick that one. Nice. Um, not really anything in here. See, this is a problem. This is a, uh, what I was talking about. It's like, I'm so disappointed that I haven't found like a legendary pistol, but you know what I have found? A bunch of other crap that I don't need. I think I would be a lot more. Oh, is this a photograph I need? I don't think so. Pick it up in a second though. I, I think I'd be a lot more okay with all of this loot. Ooh, I got Jasper's key. Had I not already beaten the main game. And like I'm coming back at the, literally the very last part of the game. Do I have to repair my armor again? Is that what that was doing? Maybe. Yes, we'll repair. We have so many parts. How the devil do I use this thing? Is it what? Oh, the barrel's turning. All right. <clears throat> I feel like an absolute idiot barking into this horn. I shouldn't have let Lucian talk me into this. What use do I have with audible notes? Posterity, my ass. Ah, great fucking law. What's it doing now? Jasper, Jasper, it's, how do I turn it off? It won't, just press the button. 
The what? Oh, for Lord's sake, the button, Ollie. Accursed thing. Well, she didn't know how to use it. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Looks like the phonograph is in here. Looks like we also got some, uh, Be right there. some buddies, which is totally fine. Zappy zappy. Oh my goodness, those guys do so much freaking damage. Get in there. Alright, I'm gonna have her immediately jump in and stun some nerds. Or completely miss them entirely. It's fine, it's fine. I have an electric weapon, it helps out. Goodness, these guys do so much damage. Like, I thought the monkeys were bad, or even the zombies, but no, <laughs> these guys are way worse. They can't keep us up. Yeah, I will loot all this, though. I'm just gonna take a look around before I go into those computers. Spend the next 20 minutes reading messages, because that's what it feels like most of the time. <laughs> There's a lot of reading in this DLC, a lot of exposition through uh, text. But yeah, hey, you know what? We've learned a lot about this facility because of it. All right, um. Critical error, damage to data storage detected. Memory malfunction detected. I was unable to retrieve data. Run diagnostics. Could not be completed. Irreversible damage, blah, blah, blah. Research data. Memory corruption detected. Staff personal entry, one logs found. Open last entry. <clears throat> to whom it may concern. This morning, I and my colleagues gathered in the reception hall. Every 10th staff member at this laboratory was released from service. I am one of them. My indenturement contract to Spacer's Choice, which stipulates a lifetime of productive service as a researcher in the field of organic chemistry, has been terminated. I have served Spacer's Choice for most of my life. Working at the Gorgon facility is the highlight of my career. If I leave Gorgon, I will have nowhere else to go because my contract guaranteed my work for the duration of my life. To that end, or to, to end that contract is tantamount to ending my life. If you have the power to reconsider your decision, I ask you kindly to reconsider. I am willing to work without pay if necessary. This is this job is all I have. Please allow me to fortify my spirit by continuing to work. Respectfully, G Zang. It's kind of sad. There's a message here though to Jasper. Dr. Lowe, I'm afraid I don't know where your research notes are. I searched materials processing and discreetly asked the receptionist, but nothing turned up. If I had to guess, you left them in the basement laboratory and ventured down there myself, but you know how I feel about primals and I apologize for the weakness of my constitution. Sir, if you research, if your research notes do turn up in the basement, may I ask you, or may, may I ask you to think favorably on me when OCI asks you to budget review? Word around the lab is that Goodfellow and the other leaders at OCI want to make some deep cuts in our staff. If there's any truth to this rumor, I hope you'll remember that I've always supported your desire to find a better, safer version of AT. Respectfully, Zang. Okay. Right. All right. Let's look at this one. Um, terminal access, main laboratory, message archive. Let's look at messages to Jasper. This is from whom? Uh, A. Pallavi. Dr. Lowe, I think I speak for all of my colleagues in the laboratory when I say I'm worried about the OCI's treatment of our facilities. I can understand dismissing 10% of our staff as a punitive measure. I can understand cutting our deadlines in half in order to motivate us, but, and forgive me, Dr. Lowe, but I can't understand demanding that we send human inquiry our untested compounds. Many of these compounds aren't tested because we know they're failures. The increasing production means proportionally decreasing quality of enrichment, which means lower capability of human metabolism, which means higher rate of or higher rate and intensity of dangerous and potentially lethal side effects. Compound X is a highly com uh, complicated formula harvested from the waste of xenocytes. It's complicated because, unlike over 15% of Spacer's Choice nutritional catalog, the compound was not designed for human consumption. If the good people at OCI understand the complexity of the compound we're dealing with, there's a chance they'll give us the time and resources we need. We just need to get them to understand. This is a problem of miscommunication. Jasper, just let me go up there and give them a presentation. I'll use markers and everything. What do you think? Can we do this? from Jasper Lowe. Uh, Dr. P 
Pahlavi, the OCI are compromised or comprised by a gaggle of carrion feeders. You go up there with your markers and your charts and your diagrams and they'll chew the flesh off your bones and then charge me for the meal. It is absolutely critical that I finish my research in peace and as soon as possible without interference from OCI. So in, uh, so in answer to your question, no, we cannot. Best Jasper Lowe. Okay, return personal files. Subject, work fortifies the spirit. What is this? Um, today we received our updated timetable from management, courtesy of Mr. Goodfellow. Six week deadline or now three week deadlines. Some of my colleagues have been sacrificing sleep in order to meet these deadlines. Others have been, that sounds like the games industry. Others have been medicating themselves with very small doses of enrichment compound X in order to combat the fatigue. Work fortifies the spirit, so we will carry on. I count myself fortunate to have been spared in the discrimination or dissemination. Um, dissemination. There we go. Decimation. Gotcha. Wow, my brain. D I'm telling you, having any kind of like uh, um, brain thing like, like dyslexia, right? <laughs> Which is what I have. It just changes all that. My brain kept adding a freaking A into that word, and I just could not unsee it. My former colleagues have nowhere to go. Their departure corresponded with a few critical doses of enriched compound X disappearing from our storage. Correlation does not imply causation, so I will not imply theft. I am concerned by the side effects of compound X. Even in its refined state, repeated use damages the synaptic patterns of the brain. Paranoia, violence, psychosis, and intense anxiety will haunt a repeated user for the rest of their short lives. Our enrichment process does not combat the side effects of Compound X. We were close to a breakthrough, but the damage to our research terminal is irreversible. My hope is that HIA will see the <clears throat> effects of this compound in their own tests and report these tests to Creative Incubation. If Incubation is as chilled by these results as I am, they may provide us with more time and more resources. Subject, unplanned sabotage event. Interesting. A moment of silence for my recent batch of enriched compound X. The elegant complexity of your molecular structure manifested in the hallucination of my own sleep-deprived mind. 30% lower rate of addiction, 75% capable uh, or compatible with human metabolism. And with a side effect coefficient of just 0.65, you were our most promising compound yet. Human inquiry would have been delighted to pour you into a syringe and stick you inside a test subject. You were destroyed in an unplanned sabotage event, which is to say that Mr. Mosley's fancy, fancy tables couldn't predict this would happen. You were almost perfect. Our lab will never see the likes of you again. Compound X is notoriously difficult to enrich. Its molecular structure is fussy. In small dosage, the compound provides a massive boost to energy and productivity. The clever buggers at OCI do not seem to understand this principle and have asked us to increase our dosage with every batch. High dosage compound X is even harder to enrich and poorly enriched, poverty stricken. Chemical has none of the protective layers that inhibit dangerous side effects. So what we have is a cocktail of very bad side effects chased down with one massive rush of euphoric energy. Pleasant, but incredibly dangerous. I can only hope HIA's reports agree with my statement. That's a lot of reading. All to say that I'm pretty sure OCI, or Spacer's Choice, rather, um, kind of wanted this outcome once they realized what it was doing. But to what end? Like, right? Like, that's the thing. They wanted people to become marauders. To what end? Do they think that they'd be able to sell stupid things to marauders? And maybe that would work. I don't know. Who knows? All right, let's get this. Roscoe, it's Georgie. If you're hearing this, you must still be holed up at the Sprat Shack. And you're not going to like this one bit. I was trying to steal our recordings when things went crazy. I know. I know. Like I said, sorry. And I'm going to be in a heap of trouble if I don't get them. So if you want to save my bacon, you need to do it for me. I need the three interviews we did with Ambrose. This one here, plus another recording of my own. I left that last one with a guy who owed me a favor at the garbage processing office in the chemical waste ravine. I'll leave an automech near Stellar Freighting. 
It'll want all five recordings plus a passphrase. Glacial H. Hmm. Oh, and don't listen to my log, all right? Just, just stay safe and keep your head down. All right. Well, we got the last one of those. Um, so basically, we... I can either return the photographs to Roscoe or deliver the photographs to Georgie's uh, auto mech. <sighs> a woman named Georgie asked Roscoe to deliver the portable phonographs to her personal Automex near Stellar Freighting. Actually, can I go back to the region? Right, so I have a I have a couple options there. So then we can do that, and but we need to do Experiment Perilous, which is the um the main one. So we need to send the override authorization, which is just over there. All right. You know, we're making good progress and I'm pretty happy with where we're at in this DLC so far.